All right, so Dave Rowan, love seeing you at these events. How you doing? Good, I'm doing good. Thank you. How many mighty mites? Is that what they call them? <laughs> mighty mites, the very mighty mites. Yes. How many wrestling in this in this event? Uh, I think we had six in the earlier session. There's one in the second session. Here. So seven, six, seven. Yep. Okay, so seven total. Uh, you have your oldest son. Yes. Is a freshman. Youngest son is a freshman. Yeah, my youngest, my youngest son's a freshman at Perry, and my oldest son's a freshman at Stanford. Okay. So, well, I'll I'll come back to Stanford. I'll circle back around because I got a lot of questions. I got a lot of Stanford questions. But, uh, you know, how, first of all, how many years removed from your near death experience are we? Uh, let's see, that was uh, eight years ago now. That seems like. Yeah, it doesn't seem like. Yeah. It seems crazy. Like when I think about it, it seems like it was yesterday. But you had a, I mean, you had a heart attack. All this crazy stuff happened. Open heart surgery. Yeah. You beat it all. I beat it all. Yep. And you're still here. So it's still ticking. And you guys got your first state champ with Billy Miller, and you've added a couple since then. So so Perry Wrestling is in pretty good health. Dave Rowan is in pretty good health, right? We are. Thank you. What what is what's going on first off with the high school right now? Oh, we're having a good season actually. You know, last year we only lost Kyle from the team basically, so everybody came back and. Um, a lot of duels this year, which I was actually enjoying. We have a nice full lineup, so good duel me team, and uh, we've been doing pretty well, pretty well. Are you guys in the CBC still? Yes. Did you guys have a league tournament? Like Riverside we, had WRC. Did you we have? We did, but we split it. We had 20 teams. We did 10 teams in the lower division, 10 teams in the bigger division. So. Were you guys bigger division? We in the bigger division. How'd you guys do? We won it. So, so you won the bigger division. How uh, different was the dynamic of that tournament? Uh, yeah, because you know, with all the teams together, it's really it's a very competitive tournament. So some weights were kind of light because maybe the lower division had a better a better one forty five pounds, let's say. So, um, but it was different. We ran more of a pool tournament than a bracket tournament, so kids got more matches. So I think most of the coaches were happy about that. But definitely different, you know, different atmosphere. Sandusky Bay Conference did the same thing. They've got this massive like twenty two team thing, and they did like eight in one half with those like Sandusky, Bellevue, Perkins, the bigger schools, and then the smaller schools, right? Like literally what you guys did. Yep. Oak Harbor played money ball. George Bergman bumped everybody up in the lineup and they lost by a half a point on the last match to Edison, the, the, the state champs. Yeah, Edison's tough. Yes. How crazy yeah. is that, yes, that, yes. that how much that changes those tournaments? It probably changed your tournament a lot too, didn't it? It did. It did. It really did. It makes a big difference. So, yeah. But he played Moneyball and they, they almost won. Well, I couldn't believe good, it. Give him give credit for trying, right? No, absolutely. Yeah. And Coach Hermes was like, he was like, wow. You know, he, he was kind of shocked by it. But in the end, Edison did get them. But. When you look at your conference, you know, you guys are pretty prepared going into your district tournament, would you say? I would say so. We do a pretty good job with our schedule. Um, you know, we've, we've wrestled a lot of big, bigger schools this year for us. Uh, you know, like Mayfield, Solon, uh, Nordonia, North Royalton, you know, head-to-head. -head. So, you know, we kind of, as best we could, stepped it up to beat the challenge. You always have a D1 guy on the team for the last decade, basically. Like literally, it was Shank, it was Billy Miller, it was your son. You got really good guys at Perry. You've got some state titles. Won the first, uh, you know, runner-up trophy for the team, and you had your first state champion under you. Um, how do you constantly turn out really good guys yeah. who move on to the higher level? We invest. We invest. You know, remember we don't have we don't have open enrollment either. So whatever we get, we get. So we got a nice program K through 12 that we you know we we build them up and try to keep them. Um, progressing forward and, and provide kids opportunities. That's a big thing. We create the opportunities so the kid could be a D1 athlete or it could be whatever, a D3 athlete. So, um, you know, it's just been a lot of years of grinding, you know, Not, nothing easy about it, but we got guys that are willing to do the work and coaches that are all on the same page and believe that trying to make a better person out of these guys. We're in a strange time with COVID. We're in a strange time with energy. Energy matters to you and I because I'm from Oak Harbor. Davis Spicy Nuclear Power Plant, your Perry Nuclear Power Plant. Right. There's some changes about to really occur with nuclear power, wind, solar, all these things. Where are you guys at school district wise as far as decommissioning that plant yeah, and where you know, are you? We've been we've been through this for many years with the power plant. I think we kinda got a good plan in place uh, um, for years that for longevity and stuff like that. So I I, I feel like we're gonna be okay. Um, you know, I think eventually I think the school funding will have to change across the nation it's a very different way to do it it's not it's not really ideal so hopefully maybe down the road some solution they'll figure out how to make it better okay 
a massive heart attack couldn't kill you. Open heart surgery couldn't kill you. Um, not much can kill Dave Rowan. How many years left for you are there in this? Not too many. <laughs> well, I'm at 30, not too many. I'm at, I'm at 32 now. You're 32. So, 32 years. Yeah. So can you go? Yeah, you're gone. Can you be done in three then? Uh, well, I can actually. I, I get an extra year, so I get grandfather clause in a year, so I get 34 years. So there's one more so if you I want could, to. Yeah. So. Um, you know, my Riley, my young, youngest boy, is a freshman right now, so I definitely want to watch see, see him wrestle through. And then my daughter is in eighth grade, so um, we'll see. I enjoy doing what I'm doing, but and you know, wrestling's a grind. And 32 years of grinding, uh, it's been good. It's been good, but it's it's hard. You know. What is your cardio like after you get your chest cut open and you get it's better all, now? Is it better? <laughs> I just tease I do a lot of cardio still. I try to keep, you know, keep in shape. I think the biggest thing is this, uh, the stress level and trying to keep that down and working out really helps me relieve that. So I do probably like 30 to 40 minutes of aerobics, probably five to six times a week. How are your joints? Uh, holding up all right. You don't wrestle anymore, do you? Oh, no, no. Not. When did that stop? Uh, 2012? Yeah, when I got this, my open heart surgery. Stopped. 13? Yeah, I just was, when they cracked me open there was a lot of parts didn't <laughs> feel like didn't heal right so oh yeah you, you yeah. land weird and yeah it's... you know just uh, separating you and like my my discs in the back aren't very good my neck is stuck my shoulders so it was time to call it quit you're a division one all-american one edinburgh's first um your son kyle's at stanford Nobody understands Division One wrestling better than someone like you that went to a small school. You were a part of the Indiana of a Bruce Baumgartner of, of of Deanna, right? You were a huge part of what they started at Edinburgh. Now your son gets out to the Bay Area, and they drop wrestling. Um, they do have a season where they're wearing all black. They went full Johnny Cash on them, yep. right? What? Where are we at right now with Stanford wrestling? It's still dropped as of right uh, now. As of right now, no, it's still dropped. Nothing's um, set in stone. I made some big, um, had some big meetings early this week and um, didn't get very far. So, but there's a lot of parents in the background that are really working hard, and uh, we, we found some stuff that we're trying to present through PR and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's just it's disappointing across the nation with wrestling. Um, I don't want to give any details out because I don't want to get in trouble. But there's, you know, there's there's some things going on behind the scenes about M M M I G or M G I. I'm sorry, M M M G I with uh, how they're controlling sports and, and lobbying and stuff like that. So we're kind of digging through that and hopefully we'll present that out to the public here soon. So you know, Stanford lose wrestling. Who's to say that Ohio State's not going to lose wrestling? Or who's not to say that Vinatex or VT's not going to lose wrestling? So we got to keep this going and we got to help these kids out just you know the experience i had in college and and the opportunity i've had has just changed my life and one reason why i became a teacher because it was such a big influence on me so you know with these kids denying them the opportunity to wrestle just, you're, you're ruining dreams you're breaking dreams so. okay so the big question is and i know you're it's kyle's life not yours what does Kyle do? Does he get a degree? Does he transfer? Yeah, that's and tough. I know. But we, you know, it, it's up to him. It really is. It's his life. I told him at this point in his career is what he wants to do with wrestling in his career. And, um, you know, Stanford's a great school academically and a lot of good alumni out there. Um, but, you know, he loves wrestling too. So um, I'm just going to say we're going to reinstate the program. That's my that's my belief. We're going to get Stanford back on and, and continue this. So, um, I haven't even started my plan B yet. I don't want to right now. Okay, I, I think I've had that... a lot of people ask me the question, and I agree with it. They probably should, but you know, I'm I'm optimistic that we're going to get it done. Terrapelli, Borelli, Ray Blake, great people, great so, guys, they right? Are awesome people. They've, I I you know I I sent Jason uh, Borelli a text a couple weeks ago. I just my heart broke. I just think about what that guy is going through, like trying to trying to run his team, trying to run his family, trying to run the program, trying to reinstate the program. You know, uh, just getting. Allowing them to compete was a hassle. They went on a 15-day tour and did nine duels, and that was a hassle getting that done. So training, they've been training outside because of Sarah, uh, Sarah Clare County can't can't uh, hold practice inside. So they're outside training on the football field and, and mats and wearing sweats. Um, it's just it's been unbelievable what they've gone through. And, and Borelli's just been a great job. I'm very proud of him. My son's in good hands. So. All right, I know you got some coaching to do. Do you got anything else for me? 
No, it's, it's always fun talking to you. Yeah, how do I make wrestling fun for my sons? Tell me that. Uh, you they know, seem to be enjoying it right now. I'm not gonna lie. That's the key, you know. I and I always try to my sons. I never, I never said like, you know, you had to win. You got to do this. I always said, yeah, just have fun. Let's work hard. I, 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 I try to make them understand that working hard was fun, and believe me, it's, it does, it does, it does you good. And my kids have bought into that. I'm very fortunate. That all, all my boys wrestle, and they enjoy it. And I mean, they're not all going to be, you know, national champs or competitive state champs, but. They're in the sport. They're experiencing it. Enjoy it. Take your time with them. It's a very challenging sport. You got to support them. And, you know, as a coach and a dad, it's a tough hat to wear. But I've always tried to make it fun for my boys. So. All right, Dave. Thank you for the time. Yeah, Good luck, you, you guys. Thanks. Sectional District State. Uh, Sparta Highland. That's the goal. Yes. Sparta Highland High yeah. School. Get yeah. there. We'll see you guys. And good luck. Thank you very much.